In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the system UI controller library to change the status and the navigation bar colors in Jetpack Compose. Okay, so as you can see now, I'm inside the main activity. And first of all, we want to get the boolean that determine if the system is in the dark or light mode. We can do that in here. So is system in dark mode is system in dark mode theme. So this is just a composable function. And we also want an object from the system UI controller. Controller, we can get that from a uh, remember system UI controller. So I would say that system controller equals to remember system UI controller. And now we're going to use the side effect block. And you use this side effect when you have a composed state in an uncomposed code. And this will only be executed when a successful recomposition occur. So let's actually now say system controller dot set system bar colors. And here we want to specify the color, which is color dot transparent. So we don't need to have a color for our system bars, uh, system bars. And for the dark icons, in here, we just want to pass the negative of the system in dark mode. And we can pass any other color than this transparent. But in our cases, we said we want to be able to draw the UI behind the system bars colors. That's why I use transparent in here. Now, one thing you want to do is to go to the values, go to your themes and remove these two items we have added earlier. And now if we launch the app, we should be able to see our transparent system bars. Okay, so as you can see, now this works. We don't have color for this, neither for this. Let's click on next, get it started. And here you go. So this actually works just as we expect. And we don't have colors for these system navigation bars. And the color of the system bars now are transparent. Now, just to demonstrate that you can just pass any color here. Let's actually pass red to see what is gonna uh, happen. So now as you can see, the system bars colors now are red. Let's just make them transparent again. So that was all for this video. In the next video, we'll finally start with the news navigator screen and to start work on the real functionality of this app. So I will see you in the next one.